I don't know if brothers could see that, man. But Esau's going crazy with these damn chemtrails. You know? And, um... Let me put this up. Let's lock it one second. Oh, fuck, man. Let's lock it out in one second, man. Hey, man, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How well, by Hashem, you how shy. By Hashem, Rekakwadash. That by honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the elect. And today's lesson is going to go into... Well, it's not really a lesson, just some thoughts I had, man. Going into these chemtrails, you know. Let me see if I can get a better picture. Try to, yeah, there you go. That's a little better. Brothers can see that. You know, but here it is, man. Esau, want, Esau wants to force these vaccines upon you. You know, as a, as a means to protect your health. So you will not catch this dreaded coronavirus. But yet, he's constantly putting chemtrails in the air. You know? Why is that, man? Because this man is as deaf. He is as deaf, and he cannot be satisfied. You know? Don't take that vaccine, man, because countless videos have been coming out to where these, these uh, the U.S. military, as soon as those vaccines are available, they want to push them out within 24 hours. You know? And um, a few months back, they already said, you know, going into these Georgia, the riots, different riots, they already got military station in these different cities you know I don't know brothers I believe that was in Chicago to where I believe that was in Chicago to where um somebody was in the apartment and they saw the train coming by and it, this had to be about five six miles of just uh you know M raps and mili different military tanks and vehicles so he saw us planning on putting a lot of people to death you know, but that's okay, man, because the scriptures say um, that some of us shall be beheaded. There's nothing new, man. This is why we just follow the scriptures, man. The scriptures tell us everything we need to know. All right, some of you shall be cast into prison. There shall be a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. All right, because a lot of these anti vaxxers are that way because they heard about the truth. You know, now some of them, you know, they just got common sense. You know, a lot of them, I say, got common sense. But then you got a lot of them that's been influenced by the prophets of the Lord. And this is why um, this devil Donald Trump, he calls us the perennial prophets of doom. The word perennial meanings um, continuous. We keep coming up, keep coming up. All right, so it's about to get crazy out here, man. But at the same time, the Lord is going to open up his blessings for us. I remember the brother, one of the brothers out there in um, Cali was talking about how the Lord, the Lord's spiritual powers always matches the intensity of the situation. You know, look at, you know, um, Misael and Ananias. And I always forget the third brother's name, which their Babylonian names is known as uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When they were cast into the fire. All right. Look how dramatic that situation was. Nebuchadnezzar turned the fire all the way up, you know, to where um, it was hotter. Like, I believe he said seven times more hotter than normal. So hot that it burned the men that were trying to put them in there. But then the Most High sent his only begotten son down, you know, to basically put a spiritual force field on them. So that they came out without a smell of smoke on them. You see? So, hey, man, this is a time where we need to be doing more because the more we do, the more faith we build, in which case, the more power we have in that day. You know, Esau's power is fear. As the scripture is saying, Wisdom of Solomon 17, that fear allows you not to think straight. All right, fear takes away from faith. As a matter of fact, in a book of, I think it's 2 Peter's, where it speaks about how um, the most have not given us the spirit of fear, but of love. All right, so the more we stay in the scriptures, the more we learn about the power of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai, the 
the more we learn about his acts of old, which are written for our learning, that we through patient confidence scriptures might have hope. The more we learn about these things, the better off we'll be. You know? So that was pretty much it, man. Alright? Hey, with that, shalom to the elect.